Most of us know that insulation in a building is a good thing, which it is. Why? Because when it's cold outside and we heat our homes to stay warm, we want that warmth to stay inside rather than escape to the outside. So why is putting insulation into a wall better than not having insulation in a wall, or a ceiling, or an underfloor? Why is having a gap between two pieces of glass so effective as a form of insulation? In its most basic form, insulation works by trapping air within the insulation material. As the air molecules are trapped within the insulation, their movements are restricted, slowing down the transfer of heat through the insulation material. It's worth pointing out that it's impossible to stop the transfer of heat. It's only possible to slow it down. And as insulation is a poor conductor of heat, it's our best means of slowing down the transfer of heat from our homes. Understanding how insulation works should guide us when it comes to installing insulation. Insulation should fit snugly into the opening because gaps reduce its effectiveness by a significant amount. Insulation should be as continuous as possible. There are lots of options now for insulation, both inside wall framing and outside framing, what we might call outsulation, where a continuous layer of insulation is added to the exterior of the frames, which reduces the impact of thermal bridging via those frames. Well-installed insulation will work for you and everyone in the home. Get it right at the beginning and you'll reap the benefits every day.